In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine with Forge for Minecraft 1.14.4. If you're new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, what we're going to be doing guys is, you're going to go into the description of this video, there's going to be two links, there's going to be one to Minecraft Forge, and there's going to be another one to Optifine. So, the way that we can kind of get shaders is via Optifine, it's really good anyway, as a mod it's got a lot of, um, well it's got a lot of things to make your Minecraft just run that little bit faster, which if you're using shaders, you'll know uh, you do have an FPS drop. So the first thing we're going to do anyway, is have a look at the different versions. Now this can change, um, in this case if we have a look at the normal change log, and I'm just going to do this, you don't have to do this, you'll notice that a lot of them at the minute aren't actually um, completely uh, compatible with Forge. But luckily for us, there is a preview version. So if you click at the button at the top here, which says preview versions, that will then open this up. If we now look at the change log, what we'll see is that uh, Optifine 1.14.4 HDU F4 Pre 2, which is this one at the top here, that one is compatible with Forge 28.045. So this could change. This is why I'm saying look in change log. Um, so for this, we're just going to copy and paste that number. Uh, we're going to go onto that main Forge kind of site that I've given you guys the link to. You should get straight to here. Um, now you'll notice that the version, uh, which is yeah 28.045, is different than this one. So we're going to actually install the one that Optifine has actually said. And to do that, what we do is we click on this Show All Versions button here. So that will then open up everything. And we can actually just use yeah, Control and F and use it to uh, kind of highlight it. We can see there we go. That's the version that we actually want. And I'm just going to press on Installer here and let that download. So yeah, nice and easy. That's the way that you can get the exact version. Of course, it can change, so it might not be exactly the same, uh, et cetera, and so forth. Um, now, what you will get is a warning with, uh, you know, this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep it anyway? I do. Uh, it's just a .jar file. Same happens with uh, .exe files that aren't, like, recognized as programs. Um, to make it easy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on the desktop here and do New and Folder. And then just, uh, there we go, drag that onto here. And I am going to actually... Uh, go on to show in folder and I'm going to drag that into the folder. You don't have to do this It's just that this for me makes it a little bit easier a little bit simpler uh, To actually have that in there So what you should have is it should be recognized as a .jar file as an executable jar file um, And you should be able to just double click on it like this and That's it and you should get up this uh, kind of installer here if you don't get that if you either get a flashing up box if I try and show you guys that because I have Got one version of uh, broken Java on my box like that, there we go. So it just flashes up and disappears. If you guys do get that, or you get an actual error, so where it actually says Java kind of exception error, or it says unable to install Java, that one's actually come up as well. Um, there's different ways you can fix that. I'm actually going to put a link on uh, this video to the uh, via the card and also with the description. Whatever is easier for you guys. Um, and that will take you to my shader install video to the exact time point where I go over how to reinstall Java and also how to run something called Jarfix and also how to run uh, basically a .jar file as a command line which seems to fix all of the common issues that you guys will come up with. If you have got a new one then let me know, I'll try and help. But anyway, from this side we just want to install the client version of, uh, of, of uh, Forge. Um, now you have to have already run Minecraft 1.14.4 at least once Make sure you do that. Also make sure your launcher is actually closed, uh, otherwise you have to close it and reopen it anyway, so it just saves a bit of time. Um, check to make sure that your install is correct, in this case mine is. I'm just going to click on OK. Let it do its thing, it won't take too long to actually go through the install. At least for me it doesn't take too long. Um, but yeah, wait until that's all done and we'll see a message. And there we go, so we've actually got the message that's come up saying successfully installed client uh, profile forge for Minecraft 1.14.4. Uh, etc and so forth and downloaded to libraries So what we can do now is we can actually go into our Minecraft folder um, The easiest way that I always recommend people do is actually to use the launcher for this So if you use the default launcher at least that's what I'm using uh, So that should hopefully start up in a minute. It seems to be a bit slow today There we go so if I drag this over to the screen that you guys can actually see, what you'll notice is there's now a profile and an installation already set up now for Forge. So you can just, just click on that one. If it hasn't come up, you probably haven't didn't have this closed. Uh, and you can always go to New and you can always select it from here so you should have Forge. Apparently I've got two different versions of Forge. Actually that is correct. So I do have two different versions of Forge. And for this one I wanted the 28.0.45. So I'm going to call my 1.14.4. Forge and what else will I call it? Optifine. Yeah, make it nice and nice and easy. I'm also going to go on to the settings down here, and I'm actually going to add 
six gigs of RAM to mine. Um, it's up to you guys if you want to do that. You don't have to. It's just just what I do because I've got a bit more RAM. So there we go. That's all done, and that will be down the bottom down here. So I just click on that one. I can do play. Let that all load up, and I'll show you guys what to do on the game side of it. And just like that, we've now got Minecraft loaded up with Forge installed, and that is the 28.0.45 uh, installation on there, and all working, which is all good. Now, if you did have any problems coming to this point, make sure to check your game output if you've got the actual game output log here. See if there's any errors and always Google them. Uh, the other thing, of course, is that if you've already got mods in the folder and they're not getting compatible and that causes a crash, that can sometimes happen as well. Um, but what we can do from here anyway is we can go to mods. Uh, you can see we've just got Forge and we've got Minecraft. If we do open mods folder, that'll just launch you directly into the place where you need to put your mods. For me, it's totally blank, and that's how it should be the first time you run Forge. Um, I do recommend you know creating another folder in here, like called old mods folder, is what I've done. And I've just got them all layered in there for different things. You can see 1.7.2 normal camera studio, apparently. Uh, great naming I've got there. Um, but for us, what we're going to do is we're going to be putting in Optifine into here. So if we just do done, quick game out of that, we've loaded it up once, we don't need to worry about it too much. We're going to go on to the second link that's in the description, which is, of course, uh, you probably already had this open anyway, but is to download um, Optifine. Two different ways to download Optifine, you can go on the main download link, that will go via AdFly, or you can use the mirror link. Um, I do recommend using Chrome for these, because Internet Explorer and Safari, if you're on the Mac, uh, both of these have had issues in the past with uh, displaying it. For me, I'm going to go through the main uh, AdFly link. Uh, just to kind of warn you guys, this is how uh, the kind of uh, person that's made the mod, the guy that's made Optifine, can get paid. And uh, yeah, because I've got ad blocker on, always get an ad blocker, I'd advise it, even though it uh, means that I won't earn any sort of uh, revenue from videos, but it can keep you a lot safer. But yeah, anything that's in this box down here, don't click on it. Uh, you're, you can get other things that jump up as well. Uh, but as soon as you get to this skip ad button at the top, that's the only thing you need to worry about. Go on to that, and you should get to this main page here like this. I'll probably also launch another advert as well, something like uh, Roblox always likes to come up for me. Uh, if you go via the mirror link, that will just take you direct in there, but the guy that made Optifine won't get uh, earn anything from that. So again guys, if this has disappeared, so if you can't see this uh, download button here, I'm just going to press download so it starts. Um, if you can't see this at all, there you go, Roblox. Um, always happens. Uh, if you can't see that at all, the that can kind of be because of uh, using Internet Explorer or from using um, Safari, but it can also be your ad blocker as well, so if you do have it, you can then disable it on there and then you'll see some ads. Uh, so we're just going to go on to keep again, and as soon as that's finished, flash in, there we go, I'm going to drag that into that open mods folder that I actually had, like that. So that's now in the mods folder, and that's how you kind of install kind of forge mods, so if you want to put other stuff in there, and I've done one already on uh, of um, world edit as well with forge, but uh, you know, any other forge mods you can you can put into there. So if we open up our Minecraft launcher again, we've got the same version we've got here, 1.14.4 Forge Optifine. Uh, makes it nice and easy, nice and simple to kind of remember which one it is. Just press on play again, and then this should load up both Forge, or it should be the Forge kind of client, uh, with Optifine in there as well. And there we go, it's all loaded up. So what you'll notice is it's only saying we've got two mods, and if we go into here, it doesn't show anything. So you might be like, oh, it's not worked. Um, if you go into the options, one of the things that Optifine, of course, does is it adds tons of video settings, including shaders. So if you go into video settings, you'll now see Optifine HD uh, F4 underscore Pre Ultra. And now we've got shaders. So there we go. Shaders are already loaded up because I had them loaded up before. So if we just go into a single world, we can now see that for some reason everything's really dark. So one way we can have a look at doing uh, or doing a fix on this is by going into details, uh, sun and mood, turn that on. Um, that's actually the first time it's happened for me. Um, but if you do get that kind of black screen, yeah, you can do that. It seems that then, at least for me, was only on startup. This is when I was trying to play around with things. Turn on sky or stars. Actually, you can turn off sky if you want to. I'm not really too sure what that does. Um, but yeah, it'll be the sun and moon settings, uh, which will happen on there. Just in case you do get that, I know people have had that before. But there we go, we've got shaders and we've also got forge running. So then you can, of course, install other things like uh, world edit for single player or um, any other mods, Twilo as well, you know. Uh, everything that's coming out that you can then start to play around with, but all good, all nice and easy. So hopefully, guys, that has all worked for you. Uh, if it hasn't, let me know in the comments section below. I will try to help you out, be uh, specific with you know what you did, what error you had, um, and if possible, you can always message me on Discord, and I can see if I can help you out on that as well. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.